It's a manhunt continuing in Anderson County after an inmate escaped yesterday. Now deputies are desperately trying to track down Damian Reynolds. It's the story we first brought you as breaking news on our free WATE News app. Today, authorities telling us more about how he escaped custody. Six on your side reporter Amanda Ketchledge has been in Anderson County all day today. In our top story, she joins us now live from just outside the jail. Amanda, what have you learned about Reynolds? Well, in the last couple of hours, we learned from officers that some kind of mix up happened during the booking process here at the detention facility. And this is where Damian Reynolds fled last night after other inmates were being released. The Anderson County Detention Facility is where Damian Reynolds was brought by transport to get booked on charges of motor vehicle theft and failure to appear in court. But a mistake led to his escape. Reynolds first came through a protected entryway and door at the jail. Lock down booking, please, and open the doors. This is where Lieutenant Shane Val says inmates are immediately searched after stepping inside. And it's believed Reynolds made it to intake where he mixed in with other inmates who were getting out of jail. Right now, what we know factual is that uh, well, as the inmates were being released, he was in that group and, and shouldn't have been. Officers are still trying to figure out the details of Reynolds' escape as they search for him. And the detention facility plans on looking at ways to improve security in the future. You know, we have security procedures. Uh, we ensure doors are locked when they're supposed to be locked. And movement is controlled by not only a deputy sheriff on the scene, but deputies in, in control towers. So this is just one of those human error mistakes, unfortunately. It's unclear how far along in the process Reynolds got before he fled. Part of the booking process is getting fingerprints taken, and whoever the officer is on duty, they would take the inmate's hand and roll the finger back and forth. Lieutenant, can you talk about how this is helpful with intake? Yes, ma'am. Once the fingerprints have been submitted electronically to the TBI and the FBI, uh, we usually get a response back relatively soon to let us know that... Uh, we have the correct inmate. Their identity has been confirmed. We're told Reynolds will have additional charges added to his criminal history. And if inmates are released on bond, this is as far as they will go with the booking process. But if they're moving to inmate housing, they'll be placed inside here in a holding cell. The next step would be segregated housing where inmates would finish their time served. And the Anderson County Sheriff's Department is still actively searching for Reynolds. They are following any leads and they're using all of their resources possible to bring him back to jail. We'll keep you updated. Lori, Bo. All right, thank you so much, Amanda. And, you know, we want to take another look at Reynolds. He's 39 years of age, stands about 5'9", weighs around 180 pounds. Reynolds has brown hair and brown eyes. Also, Reynolds has some pretty distinctive tattoos, as you see there. His initials, DBR, for Damien Vincent Reynolds on his stomach, and a cross with the name Deanna tattooed on his left leg. Anyone with information about Reynolds should call 911.